Yo, what's up guys? I'm bringing you a Stamina Dragon Knight build for the Shadow of the Hist update or Dark Brotherhood update. <clears throat> now, the idea behind this build is I wanted to be extremely tanky while also doing a lot of damage. And uh, it's hard to create a build like that, but I think I've done something pretty good here. So let's get into the video. First off, I'm a red guard. Dragon Knight, obviously. I'm buffed. We have 27k health. 28k max stam, 1k health recovery, 9k magic recovery, 1k stain recovery. And we have 2.2 weapon damage, 22% up in crit, 24, <clears throat> 24k spell resistance, 20k physical resistance, and 1.7k crit resistance. Alright, yeah, crit resistance. Then we have the Warrior Mundus and Tri Stat. So, um, this is a really good build for just damage, tanking, um, mobility almost. Kind of weird how I'll describe that to you. And debuffs. Um, so we run Fizala, Sky, Guile, and Fury gear. Um, it creates a really awesome combination. So, it's all on heavy. I think that's all the only way you can get it. But, so you. What we're doing is we're causing them people that we attack to take 55% reduced healing taken. Um, then we have our Fury, which when hit, we get 30 weapon damage stacking 25 times. Now, if you get all those to stack, it's around 760 weapon damage. And since we're all in heavy armor, we have the Wrath. Passive, which gives us 20 open damage, stacking up to 10 times, which is another 200. Now, due to the Fazalas, we have we have that 55% reduced healing taken. But since we're using a sword and board, we also have Reverberating Bash, another 33% reduced healing. Um, so this absolutely burns through pretty much everybody, but it's especially good against Templars. As you can imagine, I mean, it is absolutely ridiculous. So, we're running four pieces, no, three pieces of fury on the body, then one piece on the accessories, then four pieces of Fasala, and one on the, on the shield. Then we have a fury axe, it just doesn't really matter what type of weapon you choose. Um, so we want impact on everything, if you can get it, or divines on small pieces and infuse on big pieces. Um, try stat on the big pieces, shield as well. And weapon damage on the one-handed axe. We also have a great sword, but we don't use it for damage, we just have it there. <clears throat> and we also have agility, um, just for the two-piece max stam. Um, you can really run any two piece to add to anything. Most just max stand. Agility is kind of cool. It's oh, it's too expensive. I mean, you you should not use um, agility. Just use anything that adds max stand. Um. So yeah. Now, without all of those extra damages all stacked together, we have two point seven k weapon damage. But since we're running fury. We have all that damage stacking, plus we have weapon damage enchantment, and since we're also running heavy, we have the Rats passive. I've calculated it out, and full, and with all those things stacking, you have 4.25k, or that doesn't make sense, 4,250 weapon damage. Um, so that is far and above classes that go straight for weapon damage. I mean, builds that go for weapon damage. Um, that's what makes this build so great. So it has an incredible amount of weapon damage, yet it's still extremely, extremely tanky. And uh, it's, it's quite crazy build and setup. Alright, for our skills we have Ransack. Um, either run Ransack or Low Slash. Um, you run... Depends you want it, how you want to play it, but I'd run Heroic Slash instead. Alright, so those are your two options for your, for your main DPS ability. Then we have Invasion, Venomous Claw, 
um, reverb bash, and defensive stance. Then we have ferocious leap um, for the damage shield and great burst damage. In our back bar, two hand bar, we have vigor, coagulating blood for a, a decent heal and health recovery and healing received. Then we have Igneous Shield for Major Mending and a decent health shield. Then we have Immovable for spell resistance and immunity to knockback disabling effects. And while slotted, each piece of armor of heavy armor worn decreases the cost of break free. So our break fees are very cheap. Then we have Rally at the end and Rose to Sleep again. Um, an option you can run is Corrosive Armor, giving you a nice damage shield, and you ignore 100% of the enemy's physical resistance. So it's good for just bursting people down. That's an option for your back bar. Now on the champion points, this is where it's kind of weird. Yeah. So you run 20 in a Warlord. 20 into healthy. 20. Oh, yeah, and the reason why we don't run any into Mooncast is because we're blocking a lot, so stain recovery comes useless. Um, but, like, I mean, like, we still like the stain recovery when we're not blocking, but it's not as useful to invest into stain recovery. Instead, we put it into, like, Shadow Ward, reduce the cost of blocking. Um, then we have Tumbling, reduce the stamina cost of. Full dodge and break free, stacking with other break free costs that we have from immovable. It's uh, very cheap. Then L4, or however you pronounce that, um, healing reduction abilities are increased by 10%. Shooting up our Salas and Hubert Bash. Then we have 100 and Mighty. <clears throat> you grow 100 and Mighty, 77 into piercing. The reason I do that is because you don't get a lot of crits. I mean, we only have like 22%, so critting is not as useful for us. Um, but yeah. Then you want to put around 80 into both of these, and then 17 into resistant. Um, I'm just running a little bit more there. So, yeah, again, we get 4,250 weapon damage full debuffed with stats. Like this. Um, and you can't really beat that. Almost max spell resistance, pretty close to physical resistance, decent health recovery, and we have a lot of health because we run heavy armor, so we're really tanky. And um, we have a lot of healing reduction, um, close to 88%. Around, yeah, around 88% healing reduction, which, <laughs> as you can imagine, it's really, really, really powerful. And, um, I think that's pretty much it, guys. If you guys have any questions about the build, just leave in the comments. And if you run this build, tell me how it goes. Because this build is absolutely insane. And um, it's just it's crazy. Um, it allows you to reduce the healing that they do. And because you have all of these healing increase from coagulating in your shield, your vigor is a huge amount as you can see right here, around 14k almost, so it's absolutely, absolutely insane, um, so like I guess it, uh, thanks for watching guys, and peace out guys.